Hey guys, and welcome back to another YouTube video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a random number guessing game in Python. This is more of a beginner uh, tutorial, and this is for some of the viewers on my channel that maybe aren't as advanced with Python and don't know about classes and functions, uh, but this will allow you to learn a lot, especially if you're a beginner, and we're going to go through like while loops, generating a random number, getting input from the user, checking that input, uh, and then obviously checking if that guess is correct versus the number. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I want to do here is I'm just going to import a, a module and this is random. I'm going to show you quickly how we can create a random number in Python. That's why some of you might be here. So to create a random number, it's quite easy. You can just create a variable. So R I'm going to say is equal to rand int. And then in here, I just put two bounds and a bound is just like a start and end. So if I put something like one, four, and then I print R to the screen, I will get a number between one and four. And that includes one and four as well. So it'll randomly pick one. So we can see here, I get two. If I run it again, I get four. Keep running it. You can see that we continually get random numbers. So that's kind of the basis of what we're going to need, obviously, to make a random number. So the first thing I want to do when I'm coding this game is I'm just going to set up a basic while loop. And I want to ask the user to tell me how difficult they want the game to be. And the way we're going to do that is we're going to ask them um, what number they want to be able to guess up to. So starting at one and then what number to guess up to. So obviously the larger number they pick, the harder the game is gonna be. So I'm gonna make a while loop here. So while flag and flag is set up to true, I'm gonna say num is equal to input and type a number for an upper bound. Okay, I know that sounds complicated, but it just means like what we guess up to. So this is gonna grab our input from the user, store it in the variable num. So now what I wanna do is I wanna check if this variable num is a integer or not because if they don't type in a number well I don't want to allow them to continue with the game because we don't know what number we should go up to so the way we do this uh, is actually really easy in Python so we're gonna do an if statement we're gonna say if num oops one of my type in bum there num dot is digit like this and what this is gonna check is if this string because whenever we grab input from the user it comes in a string is equal to a number um, then we're gonna move on and we're going to say, okay, let's play the game. Um, here's what we're guessing up to, so on. Now, if they don't say that, I'm going to set up an else here, and we'll go into that in a second. So if this is a digit, they've typed in some correct input, we're going to say print. And I don't know how I did that. Let's say let's play like that, okay? So let's play. Let's add an exclamation point here as well. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to convert this into an integer. And the way that we can do that is just say num equals int num like that and then i'm going to say flag is equal to false so that we can get out of this while loop and then down here so where my mouse is kind of hovering is where we're going to actually play the real game up here is just where we're getting the input for what to guess up to so let's say they don't type in a uh, valid number they type in like hello for the upper bound well we don't know what to do with that so we're simply going to tell them invalid input like that and I know I spelled invalid wrong, just ignore it for now. Try again, like that, okay? So let's fix this, invalid input, try again. And then this is gonna prompt them to continually type in numbers until they eventually give us a number that is a digit or a string, whatever, that is a digit, uh, and then we'll print let's play and we'll move forward. So let's just test this out before we move too far. So we say type a number, I'm gonna say hi. It's gonna say invalid input, try again, let's do Let's try this, negative seven, invalid input, try again. How about 76? There we go, let's play. And that works. Now the reason negatives don't work is because technically a dash is not a digit and we only want numbers that are above one anyway, so this actually works well for us. Okay, so now we're gonna start our main uh, game. So we need to generate a number that the user is gonna try to guess within their bound. So to do this, I'm gonna type secret, it's gonna be a variable name for the number because it is gonna be a secret to the user. We're gonna type random, dot rand int one and then that bound so that bound is num and that is what they typed in and we've already made sure that this is indeed a number uh, and it's not a string so this will work well in our random dot rand int okay so now i'm going to set up two variables i'm going to say guess is equal to none and i'm going to say count is equal to one and i'll go over what these do in just a minute so pretty much um, our guess is just set to none by default because we haven't yet made a guess and then our count 
is equal to one because we want to tell the user how many times it took them to get the uh, correct number. So I'm going to set up another while loop now. And the condition I'm going to use for this uh, is a little different than some of you might typically use. I'm going to say while guess does not equal secret like that. And now it's going to say we're going to continually keep guessing until our guess ends up being secret uh, or like the number that we're trying to guess, which is secret like this. And in that case, we will stop um, and we will do whatever comes after. Okay, so now I'm going to say in here, I want to ask the user to guess. So to do this, we're going to say guess is equal to input. And then same thing here, please type a number. And I'm just going to say between one and and now I'm going to put in uh, the number that they typed in. So num between one and num. And we'll do another comma like this. And I'm just going to put a colon. Actually, I don't think I can put commas in input. Sorry, we're just going to have to uh, ignore that for one second because it's going to crash. We just have to do like this. Okay. So what I've done here, uh, because in the print statement, we're allowed to use commas in the input statement, we're not. So we have to make sure everything is a string. So we're going to say, please type a number between one and, and then we're going to convert our number into a string. And then we're just going to add a colon here uh, so that they can kind of type after it. And these spaces are important. Otherwise you're going to see it, they'll be mushed together if you don't add the space after the uh, quotation marks. Okay. So now that we've done that, we want to do the same thing that we did up here and make sure that this guess is indeed a digit. So let's say if num, it's, I guess not num guess dot is digit like this then we will convert our guess into an integer. So guess equals int guess like that. Now the reason that we need to do this and check if it's a digit and I'll, sh I'll show you uh, when I open up the uh, editor here. Okay, so let's just get through this like 54. Oh, okay, it's just gonna keep going. Anyways, if I open up IDLE, I can show you guys what page. Sorry, just give me a second. Okay, so let's say if I say X is equal to hello like that. And then I put something like this and I say int x. Well, it says invalid iteral for int uh, with base 10. So for example, if we didn't check if someone or if what they typed in was an integer and we tried to convert it into an int, it would crash our program. And obviously we don't want our program to crash. Um, we wanna just keep asking until eventually they type in a correct number. So that's why we need to do that. And now I'm gonna say uh, if guess equals equals secret like that, then we can tell the user, well, you guessed the correct number. So we'll say, you got it. And I don't know, I can't type today. Okay, you got it like that. Otherwise, so if the user did not guess the number correctly, we're gonna say, please try again. Like that. Now, one other thing we need to do here, and some of you may have already thought of it, is we have this variable count. So if the user gets it wrong, we want to add one to our count like this, um, indicating that they're getting another try to guess the number. Okay, so I know I went kind of fast. I'm just going to type one last line, then we're going to test the program and go through it one more time in case anyone's confused, okay? So I'm just going to print down here because once the guess is not uh, equal to, so once the guess is equal to secret, we're not going to be going through this while loop anymore because this condition is not true because the two things will indeed be the same value. Um, and we're going to print what comes, so what comes after this while loop is the print statement and we're just going to say it took you this many tries. So it took you. And here we can use commas, count, and then we'll say guesses like that with an exclamation point. So let's go ahead and run the program. And it's gonna say type a number for an up bound. I don't wanna be here for too long, so I'm gonna type six. We'll say, let's play. Please type a number between one and six. Type four. Please try again. Okay, three. Okay, that didn't work. Two. One. Ah, oh, is it really gonna be the last one? Six. You got it. It took you six guesses. And there we go. That is indeed our game. And you can play this as many times as you you want and if you wanted to continually keep playing this and have it to keep asking you and keep asking you um to type in a number and then to uh sorry type in a number for an upper bound and then type in another number and try to guess it you could put another while statement so i'll put something like this while true if you take all this and indent it 
Now we'll do this quickly. So if I type in upper bound three and I type one, you got it. It took you one guesses, or I guess that should probably say guess, not guesses. Anyways, um, type a number for an upper bound. So it's asking me again. So I'll type three, uh, type a number between one and three, type two, you got it. It took you one guess. Um, and you can continually and continually keep playing and this will never stop. So if you keep, you can play as long as you want. And if you want to exit out of this, you can just click the red X or you can click control C on your keyboard and that will break the while loop because this is indeed an infinite loop. Anyways, that's been it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and you now know how to make a random number just uh, guessing game. Uh, if you did, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.